we built what was called the Metastatic Breast Cancer Project. And to do this, we engaged with dozens of metastatic breast cancer patients that we were that we knew in real life, that we met online, that we'd never heard of before, and um, basically crowdsourced the best practices for engaging with their community so that if we were to build something, it would be resonant. And we built this, anybody can see it, it's at um, MBC for metastatic breast cancer, mbcproject.org, built it with the, the community in mind. And, and the project itself was a way to provide consent from the patient, for the patient to be able to pro provide consent so that we could get copies of their medical record, some of their stored FFPE tumor samples, saliva and blood, and, pro and, and produce multi-omics data that would be clinically annotated and just open source it after you know stripping it of the identifiers so that the biomedical community could use it at scale and not have to invest in that massive infrastructure. So fast forward to today, and we have over 7,000 women and men, because men get it too, um, metastatic breast cancer patients that are part of that project. And um, we're putting our first paper out um, into BioArchive probably next week or the week after, really fully describing several hundred clinically annotated tumors, some of them longitudinally collected with the intervening genomics and the, you know, the treatment history. So you can kind of parse out who on an aromatase inhibitor blew through it and what were the associated genomics. Um, and so that's all out in the public domain already. And we're just putting a position paper so people can understand the data. But we, so we built this, launched it, it was successful. And then we pointed it to angiosarcoma back in 2017. In the first day, it, the super rare cancer that only 300 people get a year, 63 people joined the, the day we launched. 63. There's over like 700 people now that have joined this project since 2017. And within two years of, of launching that project, we made discoveries and, and did not wait to publish them, you know, because our whole thing is open source. So we just told everybody, we're like, look at what we found. Here's all the data. Do something. And a bunch of um, sarcoma doctors were like, OK, we'll take it. And they've made several clinical trials. Some of those clinical trials are already completed and validated our findings and published. And so we were able to publish um, our discoveries in, in um, Nature Medicine in 2019. And we published at the same time that the first clinical trial using the same data published their positive findings. And so it's been um, practice changing and it all loops back to that original, um, the original notes that I found from that doctor from Memorial Sloan Kettering in cancer immunology. So the discovery that we made has, um, is embedded in that, that type of science. So I just want to, and then if anybody's interested, you can learn more. The project is now open to everybody with any cancer and you can um, learn all about it at joincountmein.org.